Hey y'all, welcome to Lesson 21. Hope your day yesterday was good with math. Any day with math is good, so that's a dumb question. All right, well, let's define the word average. There really isn't a great definition other than a mathematical definition, which is like, it's hard to even define the word average without using the word average. What's the average temperature over the, la the last five days? or let's say the average highest temperature, well, you're just gonna to have to take the last five days highest temperatures, add them all together and divide by five because that's how many days you're finding the average for. That's all averages. So let's find a couple of averages. Find the average of 1,765, 93, 742, and 21,050. Well, a couple of things. I'm not gonna to bother to do the arithmetic here, here. All we'll need to do is just add these four numbers together and then divide by Four, right? And you can see the lowest one's 93 and the highest is 21,000. And 21,000 is going to really up this whole average way more than it would be. Like you have these small numbers, like 100, 700, less than 2,000, all of a sudden 21,000. What the heck is that? All? But anyway, the couple of things you should know um, it's going to be somewhere between 93 and 21,050 will be your average. If you get something higher than that and lower than that, not reasonable because that's the lowest you have and that's the highest. Also, the average is going to be skewed way more toward 20,000 because these are such low numbers. Let's say this is, let's say about 2,000 here, about 3,000 and about 21,000. Well, 21,000 plus 3,000 is 24,000 roughly again. So 24,000 divided by four is about 6,000. That might be something you wanna try before you actually find averages you know, and do it yourself, just to make sure your answer is reasonable. Okay, find the average of all these numbers. You know, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers, all right? Let's do the mental math. Eight plus 17, 25, plus 14, 39, plus 10, 49, 49 plus 18, the same thing as 50 plus 17, 67. 67 plus six is 73, and 73 plus 13, 86 plus 12 is 98. We'll just divide by eight. Eight into uh, nine is one time. There's one left over, let's put the one right there. Eight into 18 is two. Let's go ahead and do decimals. All right, well, uh, eight into 18 is two. That gives us 16, which means there is, uh, we can go 16, then we can go two, and then drop our zero, eight into 20 is two. And that's gonna be 16 there, four, drop another, and there we go, 12.2. Now, now let's look at this, is this a reasonable answer? Well, the lowest one of these is eight, the biggest one's 18, so 12.25 in there somewhere, yeah, that's reasonable. Of course, it looks kind of like it'd be fit in there anyway with a lot of 12s and 14s and 13s and so on, so that's reasonable. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky. And all you need to do is figure out the method to do this and you'll have it for the rest of the year. The average of four numbers is 10. Three of the four numbers are two, 14, and seven. What is the fourth number? And you might look at this and go, well, I don't have enough information. They didn't, what, I don't know what the fourth number is. Well, if you have an average of four numbers is 10. Stop for just a second. If somebody told you, um, oh, I don't know, uh, how many you know, gluten-free brownies did you eat uh, over the last four days? And you, the person doesn't know, but you say, well, I ate an average of 10 over the last four days. Well, the person knows then immediately how many of those gluten-free brownies that you choked it, or that you ate, okay? He knows, well, if the average over four days is 10, well, that's the same thing as if this guy ate 10 per day for four days. So I know the total number this guy ate was 40. Now you might have eaten 40 on one day and then none, none, or none. That's still an average of 40 because you break it up over four days. So the, the key on this one is to go, the average of four numbers is 10. Well, that means the total is 40. Now, if somebody says to you, the average of 12 numbers is three, well, that means that's the same thing as going 12 times three, that's 36 total, that's the key. So three of the four numbers are two, 14, and seven. Well, let's add those up. Two plus 14 is 16, 16 plus seven is 23. Now we know that this guy did a total of 40, and the average is total, uh, uh, total is 40. If you have 23 on those three days, then the last day, 
must or the last number must be 17 and that's all there is to these okay all right well let's try on page 75 your practice problems go ahead and pause it and come back when we finish with the first one okay we have 74.2 we have 87.3 and 106.5 i'm gonna put that on the very top so let's reasonably it's just going to be somewhere maybe around I don't know, 85 or 90, somewhere around there. Okay, so 5 plus 2 plus 3 is 10. 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 7 is 18. 1 plus, that's 8 plus 8 is 16, so 268.0. Let's just divide that by 3, and I'll put the 0 there. Ah, see, 3 into 26 is 4. 24, 2, 3 into what did I say? I'm, I should have said eight. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Eight and then let's see. 28 will be nine. That's 27. There's one. Three into 10 is three. 89.3 approximately is your answer. Of course, you're going to keep going three, 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 and so. Okay. Pause it and then do B. Okay. If they tell, if they tell you the average of four numbers is 100.1, well then automatically you know the total is gonna to be 100.1 times four, and that will give you 400.4, all right? Then they say the other numbers are 24.2, 13.5, and 48.7, all right? Let's add those together. That's seven plus seven is 14. That's five, eight, and the 16. And then four and four will be eight. Okay, so that tells you the fourth number is gonna be 400.4 minus 86.4, which is gonna be 314. So you can see how these three numbers, 24, 13, 48, then this gigantic one, it kind of skews the entire thing to make the average up to 100. Okay, pause it and try C. Okay, well let's look. If you find that for air filters, the average costs $7.63, well, that means you're going to have to multiply, and you're going to get $30.52 total. All right? The last part says 521, 742, and $9.15. What is the cost of the fourth? Well, we'll just add those all together. That's going to be 78 right here. And 579 will be $21.78. We're going to subtract this from 30.52. And let's see, that'll give us, we'll just take away that and make it 29 because we know we're going to mess with that. And this will be 12. And that'll be a 4. There we go. And that's going to be a 74 and eight dollars 74 cents should be your answer if you want to check that you can go back and go boop i add eight and four is 12 and then seven plus seven plus one 15 22 plus eight 30 there we go okay all right that's it for average see you guys next time